Hi, welcome to Inspect Flex. I'm John Pajeras, and today I'm going to explain to you about uh, fuse panels that haven't been used in quite a long time. Um, I'm at a house that was built in 1950s, and uh, it does have the original fuse panel downstairs being used, uh, and then it had been altered uh, multiple times by homeowner done installation. Uh, I'm going to show you some of these failures that I've uh, discovered. Uh, but first, we're up on a roof. And uh, I'm going to explain to you about the service entrance that's coming in to feed it and uh, how I could uh, identify that a licensed electrician has not been here since 1950. So we're going to start at the uh, power line coming from the uh, Consumer Power Electric Company and then we're going to go right into the weatherhead and the mass and right down inside. So let's go take a look at this. As you look out towards the street, you're going to notice the power line coming in towards the house. And then right here, uh, this is your weather head, uh, which prevents uh, water and moisture from getting inside your mast. And then the wires do feed right into that weather head and then right down the mast into the meter base down below and then into the breaker panel. Uh, in this case, we have a fuse panel. So when you look closely at the uh, power company's lines, this is the hot. Uh, this other one is the hot line. And these are the connectors that connect them. Uh, the bare wire is the neutral wire that goes uh, that comes to um, the dwelling from the power company and you'll notice that uh, the three wires going up into the weather head uh, the center one that is the neutral it's a very small gauge and so are the hot feeds these are the originals and I can tell by the size of those wires those are not capable of hundred amps those are probably capable for about a 60 amp service uh, which is very inadequate for today's dwellings. Today's home should have a minimum of 100 amps. So let's uh, let's go down below and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we're in the basement now, and you'll see that there's uh, two breaker panels here, and I've already taken those cover panels off. And then up here to the upper left, this is the original fuse panel. It's a general, and uh, when you open it up, you'll notice that Inside the panel, all panels are rated for a certain amount of amperage as far as the capacity. And on here, you're going to notice it says 60 amps. And how these function is, um, let's go ahead and remove this cover and I can show you a little bit better. How these function are is, uh, this right here is your main breaker. And if you were to pull this out, inside is going to be two uh, fuses that are long and uh, cylinder looking that look like shotgun shells and if I were to pull that right now it would kill all the power so we don't want to do that on the inspection uh, but you can see the the two wires that feed this uh, main breaker or main fuse I should say and then this would feed off to all these individual fuses it also has branch lines to feed over to this one this is a 220 disconnect so this this is, allows another 30 amps to be fed off uh, to uh, electric dryer, electric uh, water heater, uh, stove, kitchen uh, appliances, that sort of thing. Uh, so you have another double pole with uh, fuse cylinders in here. And then it does have another auxiliary of branching off, which is the red one coming right down here off the slug, and then the black one over on the right-hand side here, this larger one. And what's happening is, is somebody wanted more power to the house, so they took this branch line and fed it down to this sub-panel. Now this sub panel has a double pole breaker, double pole breaker, double pole breaker, and you can see it's got 30, a 30, a 40, and then you have all the individual branch fuses plus this one, and they jumped over to another sub panel. So all these branch lines are not capable of the 60 amps. This definitely needs to be upgraded. There's other multiple issues, uh, such as multiple lugging. You shouldn't have two wires on the same branch line. And most importantly is over-controlled fuses, which is too small of a wire on too large of a fuse. This 30 amp can handle uh, what is a 10 gauge wire. Um, and the wire coming off from that is only 14 gauge wire, which can only handle a 15 amp fuse. So this could potentially overheat and melt the wires. So there's several multiple uh, issues here. Definitely recommend an electrical upgrade. Uh, these fuse panels are disappearing, which is a good thing. And uh, now that we're here in the future and people are asking for electric vehicles to be hooked up, this definitely would take all of that electricity. So uh, thanks for watching the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.